Hey, what up, Michael? Hey, man. This is a really interesting opportunity for you. A great experience. An FIB contact? Are you joking? Relax. The guy's part of the Very well. Why don't you meet him and see what you think? All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about it. All right. Me and Trevor will be there, too. I promise you. It's a step up for you. A real opportunity.
Traffic cops, you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds man. Hey, hey, you two get going. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I don't know what this shit's for, man. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'll get some wheel home. Hey, Frank. Hey, I'm nearly with these dudes, man. You guys comfortable on your end? Yeah, I guess. We look pretty ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man. Look, I'll see you soon. Yeah. We'll pick you up coming through Grapeseed. Get the drivers there and get them going at speed. So get in your cars and let's see if they move as fast as your mom. Ooh, the fool wants to race us. 
Got it. Too. 
You know how fast you know, I She had an yeah, officer. I uh, try to keep it under the limit. Well, you and your boys look like you were drag racing from where we were sitting there, so uh, why don't you get yourself out of the car? Come on. Officer. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Get out. Come on. Hands on the car. Let's go. Come on. Get out of the fucking car. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we gotta make sure. Get out of the fucking car, you pint sized prick. You, you little shit, get the fuck out of here. Go on. Hey, man, you know how hard it was to try smart enough to stay with these fools? Let's have a real way. Hey, you that lady, the intense dude's assistant, right? Assistant? This is Molly Schultz, Senior Vice President and General Counsel for Devin Weston Holdings. I need to tell Devin we got them calls. Mr. Weston will not discuss matters like this with you on the phone. I'll be your port of call for business concerns. Well, shit, me and your boss ain't gonna have any personal concerns. Bring the cars to Hayes Auto on Little Bighorn in South Los Santos. Mr. Weston and I will meet you there.
fantastic. Yeah. One kid and two old creeps. Who the fuck would have thought? Gentlemen, move the vehicles. Hey, hey. Give me five, five, and five. Oh! Hey, just kiss, homie. Poo! Dog, come on, man. You got the fucking paper? Absolutely. Look, you finish the job, you get the paper. But the order was for five cars. If I'm not mistaken, that's only two. Just give me the fucking money now! Oh, I'm so scared. I really, really am. Yeah, but you know what? I'm a payment on completion of work type of guy. You don't like the job? Take a fucking walk. Right, come on, man. Hold on. So what's next, man? Well, it's the Z-type. Chad Mulligan. Lay it on, kid. Mulligan's a record producer. He's going through a messy divorce. He's hiding his valuable assets, including the car, so that makes it complicated. He'll spot any ground surveillance we run. All we've got to go on is that the car's in the lockup in Howick. So we just go house to house. Not quite. We have access to an LSPD helicopter. The computer on board can ID pedestrians from a chip in their driver's license. Find Mulligan and Howick. Follow him to the lockup. Someone on the ground collects the car. All right, so who does what? You're not needed for this job. Phillips, you're in the chopper, Clinton, you're on the ground. Yeah, I don't understand the deal between you two. Yeah, well, I don't understand the deal between you two either. But you know what? Life! It's just one long mystery. Bye-bye, gentlemen, and stay spiritual. Oh, and Mike, I'll be in touch about your friend, Solomon. All right, good. Thank <laughs> you.